Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create the property custom template version 2 from the VP Residence main demo. This is the custom property template version 2. And next I will show all the steps that you need to take to recreate the same template. First I will create a new page. I will click Add New. I will add the title, I will assign the property page template, I will disable title, search, header and sidebar and I will publish the page. Since I will create the custom template with Elementor, I will click edit with Elementor and now I will start adding the property elements. You will find all widgets available for the property custom template. Under the VP Residence property page widgets, I will first add the property header section. This is the widget. I will add it in the page with drag and drop. You will have options to change margins, to change typography. Also, you will be able to change colors. And from advanced, you will be able to change the position on the page and make other settings. I will select the section and make the content width to be full width. And I will set the section to be stretch. And now I will add the next section, which will be a gallery one. I will look for the widget. This is the widget that I will use. I will add it in the page with drag and drop. I will add the gallery in the same section. I will change the item height value. You will be able to change hover color and hide the status label. Next, over this image, I will create an overview section. For the overview, I will add a new section with two columns. I will first make the settings for the section. I will select content width to be full width. I will set the section to be stretch. I will use only the first column. So I will make the settings for the column. I will set the width. And now I will look for the overview widget. This is the one. I will add it in the first column with drag and drop. Now I will make the settings. I will hide the title. I will hide the updated on field. And now I will set the overview fields. For bedroom I will only change the label. Bedroom will remain as it is. I will replace garage with property size. Also I will change the labels. Instead of area size, I will add property category. I will remove the label and select a custom icon from Fontasm. And I will remove the last field. I will set the detail section width. I will go to style and change box color. From spaces and sizes, I will add a padding value and border radius. From typography, I will change the font family, the font weight. I will do the same for the property labels. From colors, I will change the background color and I will add the text color. Next, I will go in advanced and here I will set the position of the section. I will change here to absolute position. I will change the offset. Here I will add another value. And for the vertical orientation, I will change to bottom. I am done with the overview section. Next. I will add a new section with two columns. Here I will add the property details. So I will start with making settings for the section. First I will change the content width to be full width. I will set the section to be stretched. In advanced I will add padding values. And now I will start adding the property page sections. I will start with the property description. This is the widget. I will add it with drag and drop. Below I will add the address section. This is the one 
I will add it below description. Next, I will set these two ones and after I will add the next elements. For the description section, you'll have the option to hide the title or change the current title. In style, you will be able to set box shadow, make changes for spaces and sizes. In typography, you will be able to change text details. I will do the same for the property title. I will change the font family. I will change the text weight. I will also make changes for the content. I will change the font family. I will change the font weight. You will also be able to change colors. Going to the address section, you will also have the same option to hide section title. You can set number of columns. I will set them to be two. And in style, I will only change typography. I will change the font family, the font weight. For the content, I will also change the font family and the font weight. Next, I will add the property details section. This is the one. I will set details to be displayed in two columns. From style, I will make the same settings for typography, for the text as well. Next, I will add the features and amenities section. This is the widget. I will do the same settings, two columns, and change settings for text. For the next section, I will add the property map. I am done with the first column. Now I will start adding content for the second column. Here I will add the agent details. I will look for the agent form. This is the widget. You will have the option to set the details that will show. I will hide only social details. Next, I will add the floor plan section. This is the one. And also, I will add the video section. For the floor plan, I will only change typography as I did for the other section. And I will do the same for the video section. Here in typography, you will have only option for the property title. And for the last section in the page, I will add a new section. And here I will add the similar listing widget. This is the widget. I will set it to show three elements and to have three elements per row. I will go to typography. I will also change the title font family and the font weight and now I will set this section to be full width as well and to be stretched and my custom template is done. I will save the changes made. Next you will need to assign this template to your properties. You can do it globally for all properties or custom only for certain properties. I will show. I have this property where I have the default template. To assign the template that I just created only for this property, I will need to edit property. Scroll to appearance options. And here I will be able to select the custom template that I just created. I will save changes. And on refresh, I will have the template that I just created. If I want to apply this template to all my properties, I will need to go to Team Options, Design, and in Property Page Settings, I will need to select here the template that I just created. This means that all properties will have this template assigned. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.